Hey guys, today we are working on this Ford 5030 tractor. We are gonna change the power steering uh, filter in the canister here, and also change some O-rings that are causing a leak right here along the seam right here. So if this video is helpful, smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. I do wanna note that I don't have an oil cooler on this tractor. Um, but a lot of them do have a hydraulic fluid cooling line right here. So I'm going to show you how it's done on mine. I'm sure you can figure out how to take some lines off to get to the point where I'm at here. First thing that we're going to do is remove these two bolts to loosen these lines. All right, now we're going to take a 15 16th wrench and break this fitting right here loose. All right, we got that fitting and line pulled down here. There is an O-ring up under here that I'm gonna pick out and replace. Um, but now we're gonna remove this bolt right here and take it out. All right, uh, you should probably get some kind of catch pan before you take this fitting off. Um, but then you can wiggle this canister loose and pop the canister off. A little trick to get this to pop out. Take a one inch wrench put it on the end of this fitting here and wiggle it back and forth while you try pulling it out and it'll pop out. All right, I took that canister off. One thing to note is some models have a spring behind the canister here and some don't. Mine doesn't. Um, all right, so then if you're just replacing the filter, put your filter back on, reassemble, and uh, this O-ring right here can be taken out and changed. Um, you should get one with your filter. Um, and then that would be all for the filter. Now to get into those uh, O-rings inside of here to fix this leak, I'm gonna take out these four bolts. There's one back here by my finger and one right here. So I'm gonna take those out. Before I take those out, I'm gonna loosen this fitting right here and undo this fitting. All right, after you take those bolts out, that part right there will pop off. There's a funny shaped O-ring right there. You can see that's something that could be replaced. Um, the guy at the dealership told me I wouldn't need that. I wouldn't need to separate this, but here we are. I should have picked one up while I was there. Anyway, at this point, basically just take and kind of pound on this a little bit with your fist and it'll pop right out and you can pull this out. I'm gonna just kind of show you here. There's a little, yeah, that little thing right there that turns, um, but there's your O-rings back there. All right, and then right here are those O-rings that I'm gonna replace. So I'm just gonna take a pick and pop these out and then I'll put my new ones in. You can, uh, this, kind of slides a little bit. You can slide it out to get you a little clearance behind there. It's gonna be kind of a pain to get those O-rings in there. Okay, so this inner O-ring is definitely the biggest, it's a test of will to get this thing in there. Um, I used this little screwdriver right here that I could slip in here and I did this part right here first, um, kind of, sort of falls into the other spot on the other side here and then once I got it to where I could push this in you know it's in the groove because it won't go in unless the o-ring's in the groove so um once that thing's in there like that don't let this come back out and pop out um but you can kind of like turn this back up so that you can get the bigger o-ring in there without having to pull it back out and then we can start reassembling. If the gear falls out of the back of this piece here, it goes not in the spot where the other gear is. <laughs> All right, I'm just reassembling. Um, remember to reattach this line before you put the canister back on. Um, I'm replacing this O-ring and I'll also replace the O-ring on the outside of the canister here. And don't forget about this big O-ring here. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if this video was helpful, smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, 
and thank you for watching.